The book I picked for my book file is called Riding a Donkey Backwards. I picked this book as my folklore book because it's wise and foolish tales of Mulan Nastrudin. As they describe for this book, um, the, their work is inspired by Muslim culture and heritage. Islam is sometimes seen in narrow ways and the Kahala Theater challenges this narrowness by bringing the poetry, stories, wisdom, imagination, and humor of Muslim culture to life. I really was drawn to the book based off of the types of pictures that it had. So the collage style and whimsical fun of the pages. And then as I started reading the stories, I realized most of them had a moral content to them. So as you can see with the different materials they use, it really shows and shines light on the culture. And for those of us who do not have very much exposure to the culture, there is a glossary which explains the terms that you run into. So, Mullah is a Muslim faith leader in Arabic, Persian, Urdu, and other languages. So this book is about the wise and foolish tales of Mullah Nasr. One of the pages that I would use for an activity in class is a nice steam bath. Nasruddin decided to visit the local hammam to have a nice steam bath and a massage. A large man escorted the mullah into the hammam, but he didn't look after Nasruddin very well. The water was cold, the towel was small, and the massage was short. Nasruddin was ha wasn't happy, but as he was leaving, he gave the large man an extra 10 coins. It was a very generous tip. The following week, Nasruddin went to the hammam again. The large man was there, and as soon as he saw Nasruddin, he led him to the finest bath. He gave the mullah a big warm towel. He gave him a long massage with the most fragrant oils. This time, mullah Nasruddin was very satisfied, and as the mullah got ready to leave, the large man waited. He was expecting an even more generous tip. But, but Nasruddin left just one small coin. It was a very small tip. The large man looked disappointed, so Nasruddin explained. This coin is for last week, he said, and last week's coins are for this week. So after reading that passage with children, I would prompt them with a writing prompt that says, have you ever done a nice action for somebody that might not have earned it at the time, but it produced a positive outcome? So this is a social emotional activity that would break it into three different squares. The first square would be the person's actions. For my example, it was Johnny was being mean to us. The second prompt would be what your actions are. So you can choose to be mean back to Johnny, but you're not going to get a positive outcome. Or... You can play tag with Johnny and invite him to play. And then your positive outcome would be Johnny would see you as a friend. So Johnny was nice the next day and we played on the slings. So children would think of moments where they would see somebody else's actions who might have been ne negative. They would write down what their actions were that were positive ones and what the desired outcome was. So it shows cause and effect. A lot of the stories in this book were those type of morality stories. And I really loved how the artist portrayed the pictures. And it's just fun and engaging and exposure into that Middle Eastern culture and the Muslim religion itself. 